Welcome to PW Portfolio Analytics. For the second part of our Total Portfolio Management series, today we will discuss risk exposures by global sector. All publicly listed companies are classified by the industry that they conduct their business in. Examples include the financial sector, the energy sector, the healthcare sector, and the industrial sector. If you want to know the sector breakdown of an individual fund, you can easily find it online, typically in the fund's fact sheet. As an example of one such breakdown, let's take the TSX Capped Composite Index, which tracks Canadian large and mid-cap companies. Shown is the sector breakdown as of the second quarter of 2016. If your fund tracks this index closely, its sector breakdown will be very similar. This breakdown is a holdings analysis, which is accounts of the companies or names within the index that belong to each sector. This is very useful information for investors. However, be aware that the holdings only provide a snapshot of the most current sector breakdown. And to the extent that there are many names in the fund, certain sector risk may well be diversified away. This is where a total portfolio risk analysis comes in. On our site, we will show you the risk contribution from different sectors to the overall fund over a specific time period. The resulting picture can be quite different. Here are the three sectors with the highest weights, shown in orange, in our TSX capped composite index. The blue series shows the risk contribution of the same three sectors in a nine-year time frame between 2007 and 2016. Notice how the financial sector, despite carrying the most weight of the holdings, contributed much less risk to the index overall in the last nine years, while the material sector has contributed over 50% of the risk due to its volatility. In conclusion, to better understand your portfolio, be sure to check both the breakdown by holdings and the risk contribution by global sectors in our Smart Risk Analytics.